good morning. Hey, how's it going out there? Um, what I want to do today is um, walk through how to copy and modify a custom, an orchestration for order management. So basically what I had to do this past uh, month was set up an orchestration where um, it stopped at pick ship. So this is good for if you're going to um, create orders that will go to a project. As an example, most projects are going to be billed through project billing. Um, it wouldn't create an invoice, so you want it to be able to um, order the product, pick ship the product, but you don't want it to create an invoice because then it'll all go over to the project. Also, in some cases, if you're orchestrating subscriptions, um, instead of an invoice, this is great for this functionality as well. Um, in this environment, I have created a custom um, integration using Oracle uh, Integration Cloud to go from order management to subscription. So I had to stop the I had to stop the orchestration so it wouldn't create an invoice because we kicked off a subscription instead. So with that introduction, let's go through what we have to do. So the first thing we're going to need to do is um, uh, copy over the uh, an existing orchestration. So there's a lot of seated orchestrations out there. So we're going to go into set up and maintenance. Sorry about that. Had to take care of something. Hey, first thing I'm going to do is go over to um, set up and maintenance. And what we want to do is look for manage. Orchestration process definitions. And I want most of the ones created by Oracle we'll start with DOO. So we're going to look for a DOO. This this one right here, the generic fulfillment process. And so the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and, and copy it. So we're going to copy it. And give it a new name. So this is going to be for. Whoops. No invoicing. Because what we're going to do is take this orchestration that's been created and we're just going to uh, modify it for our purposes. And we're also going to want to give this process a name. So the first thing we're going to want to do is um, come down here. After we do that, we'll come down here into the step definitions. And get rid of the invoicing steps which are down here at the bottom. I'm just scrolling down here. Uh, pull this back up a little bit. So we're looking for these steps here. And so we want to get rid of these steps because we don't want it to create an invoice or wait for the invoice. So we'll highlight it. Let's slide back up here so I can find the delete button. We're going to delete that one. I'm down here to wait on invoice. We're also going to delete that one. So the next thing we'll do is go to status conditions. And we're going to need to scroll down and let it bring in more data. And again, we've got to get rid of the steps that deal with billing, which are down here, um, the await billing and build. So again, what we're going to do is um, highlight it and uh, delete it. And also get rid of 1100. Okay, so then we go to the fulfillment line status and edit status rules. Yes. And again, we need to scroll down to the bottom. And it's way down here at the bottom. 
is we need to get rid of, I believe it's line 16 and 1700, which is a weight billing. Let's see that down here, weight billing and build. So we'll highlight a weight billing. Back up to the top, let's make sure we got the right one highlighted, weight billing, yep, and delete it. And then we're gonna come down and I like build and we're going to delete it. Say yes. Then we're going to save and close. And save that. So the next thing we need to do is go through a process called validate release and deploy the process. And these are found up here under the actions buttons. So we're going to go to actions. First thing we're going to do is validate. And it should pop up. It validated OK. So everything there should be great. And we're going to release it. And it's going to come up and say, first off, that it was released. And then it's going to give the opportunity to download it. And, and you don't need to do that. I believe it downloads it into a log or something like that. So we're not going to worry about that. We're going to say OK. And then the third step is deploy the process. And this is where I got to come over here and grab my password because it's going to want the password here. So I got to put in the password and then deploy. So it was deployed. And so we'll save and close out of this. And now we have this new custom orchestration here that will stop it taking step. Now, the next thing we have to do is say, okay, how do we get the order orchestration to recognize and use this particular um, orchestration process that we just created? So to do that, um, we're going to go back to setup and maintenance. So we can cancel out of here because they've already saved it. Oh, come on. And I'm going to go to manage process assignments for sales orders is what it'll come up and say. Process assignment rules for sales orders. Now we're going to kick off this process based on an order type. So one of the first things you'll do on, you'll need to set up various order types that can do things. And in this environment, I have an order type for subscriptions. I have an order type for projects. And so we're going to set up a new rule so that if it sees an order type for projects, it's going to run through this orchestration and not create an invoice. So we're going to create a new rule. And the rule, we're going to give it a name called no invoicing projects. I'm going to copy that. We go here to description. Rule if. Yeah. Invoice and project related orders. That way people know why I did it. Okay, so now I'm going to trigger this, like I said, off order types. We're going to come over here and search on order types. And then I'm going to drag the order type over to the if box. If it's equal to, and you'll notice I have a lot of order types out here right, that do different things. And I do that because I do different presentations and stuff and that makes it easy. So I'm gonna go and select my project order because if this is an order for a project, I don't want it to create an invoice. And I go to then, do, and, and right here, this is called process name. So the process name is set to, now we're gonna go out and find if it contains, remember we called it DOO, no invoicing. So we're going to say invoicing. 
see if we can find that one. There it is, custom order, no invoicing. So that's the orchestration process I want it to run. We'll click OK. Everything looks good. So if it equals project, if the order type equals project, run this particular orchestration. So we're going to save and close that. Now, the next thing we need to do, and you'll see right here, it's put it in alphabetical order, that this is grayed out. So now the next step is to actually click on that and activate this process. Also, if you ever want to edit these, you can come in under actions and go into edit, and it's going to bring up what you've done, and you can make whatever changes you need to make. You also have the opportunity um, here to um, delete it, duplicate it, and those kinds of things. We're just going to activate this, save it, and close it. Now, you would think that was the last step, but it really isn't. So now that we've activated this no, no project, we now need to publish it. So we're going to go ahead and publish it, which is click that little fastest button up here and say yes. So now it's published successfully. So now if I go into order management and run an order, it will select this orchestration type. If I put order type projects, you'll notice over here, I'd already created one for my, um, this is actually for um, subscriptions. Like I said, in this environment, I do have the ability to um, orchestrate a subscription from an order, which is uh, still not, uh, available out of the box. It's supposed to be there during 2024. But anyway, so that's all there is to it. Um, I hope um, this was helpful for you. As always, down in the comments, I will put a PowerPoint of the steps that I walked through so that you can uh, use those in your life. If you have any comments, let me know. Um, and thank you very much. Have a great day.